ain't it amazing how for better or for worse, nothing ever goes as planned. Left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Hmm. You think that guy would get dizzy from doing that over and over. Yo, yo, YouTubers, welcome back to Let's Play... Um, uh, darn, I almost said Pokemon Sapphire again. <coughs> Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. That's it. Last time, we, we finally got the Ocarina of Time, opened the Door of Time, got the Master Sword, and now we are Adult Link. Where Ganondorf is now currently in control, seven years in the future. Yeah, I probably butchered that explanation. Probably still not awake, even though it's like quarter past twelve during the daytime. But in this episode, we're gonna see what Sheik wants us to do here in Kakariko Village, but first, there actually is something I want to attempt to get. Just gotta angle myself just right, which ain't easy. It's amazing how you can walk on something so thin, yeah? So talking with this guy... Well, he apparently knows us, but we don't know him. This is the first time we've ever seen him. He gives you a free heart piece. Very nice. Not like it really matters to us, because... Well, I'm not going 100% for the last time. Yeah... That it it probably won't be the last time I say that. So ordinarily, when when players go to Adult Link now, they probably get a certain something to help them move faster. I'm going the wrong way. Well, I tried that and I didn't do very good. Now I will attempt to do it later in this LP after I get enough rupees. But honestly, chances are I'm probably not going to do well. Maybe even not well enough. You probably know what it is. And we just get one rupee and a magic jar. Whoopee. So, you remember the way to the graveyard? That's where we gotta go. Now perfect, too. That's the, at the time I'm recording this, it's October 26th. Just a few more days until Halloween. Could've gotten more bombs this way. Oh well. Now around here as adult Link, or teenage Link technically, you'll find a new enemy here. Here we got a Poe. If you stare at it with Z targeting, it'll disappear. It's really no big concern to us right now. For the time being, we just gotta move this grave. Drop it! What a place. Now over here there are a couple jars. Let's see if we get some rupees here. Ooh, nice! I want to get at least 170 rupees before I attempt to get that something. Quit hitting the wall, will ya? And Deku Nut. Not really needed. Oh well, once we're all done with that, talk to this guy. This is this is da this is Dompe the Gravekeeper. And you could have met him seven years ago, but apparently I never did. Or at least I don't remember doing that. So here we get here we see his ghost. He's passed on. You can see the halo, poor guy. Now here we gotta follow him. Not necessarily race him, just follow him. Now along the way, he'll throw fireballs. Make sure you avoid the fire and avoid the rupees. Don't bother collecting the rupees. You'll get way off course, get lost, and have to start over. Whoa, like that! Whoop. If you're locked out, you'll have to start over. Which is no good. 
Now you could go left or straight, doesn't really matter, you'll end up in the same spot anyway. Whoa! Now if you race him a second time after clearing this, you'll get he'll give you a heart piece. Now hurry get hurry get in there before it closes. Good. We made it. Wasn't great, but at least we made it. Hmm, yes we were, weren't we? And I forgot I usually read this stuff, even though reading is not usually what I do. At least not with a let's play. Oh well, at least we made it. Um, I believe if you get under 50 seconds next time you race him, he'll give you a heart piece, so... If you want to do that, go ahead, but that's not what I'm going to do. So for at least clearing this area and making it before that door closed, thank goodness. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We're so tall we don't have to hop in. We got the hook shot. Another one of those classic Zelda items, I believe. If you play Smash Brothers, you probably recognize this item. Um, I believe in future Zelda titles like Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, it's no longer called the hook shot. It's now called the claw shot, though it works the same way. So past here, these blocks look very strange. As Navi says here, Hey, isn't that the same design as that's on the Door of Time? That's a hint. Can you see that? Whoops. I screwed that up. Hang on. Play the Song of Time. And then this will happen. The blocks are gone and we have a way out. Good. Now normally those blocks are just teleport to, to another area, so yeah, technically aren't gone. They just teleport somewhere else. If you play Song of Time again, it'll they'll come back. Okay, now now we could have come here seven years ago, but we couldn't really do much of anything. As you can see here, that there's a heart piece over there. How do we get to it? Well, the claw shot, the hook shot helps. Or maybe not. Just jump off of, just jump off of that thing, put that away. And up! We got it! Another heart piece. That's two total. Okay, so let's talk to this guy over here. We technically should do, we technically should do this later. But I just want I just want to get this over with. Arr, I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Arr, it's all that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Well, we got an Ocarina. What? You got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. You've learned the Song of Storms. You can see this place is really speeding up, isn't it? Get a load of that. Crazy, isn't it? Never want to ride that thing. Okay, so we got the hook shot and Song of Storms. Here's one. Our next stop should indefinitely be back at uh, back to Lake Hylia. Yeah, it's quite a ways away, but hoping to get. But there's something we really should do there before pressing on to the next area. So I suppose I should just see you guys in just a moment after I try to collect a few more rupees. All right, once we're back here at Lake Hylia, 
with a sun song to make a day again, though it's taking a sweet time. Remember the scarecrow song we tried and I attempted to teach? After we take care of this blue tech tight. There we go. And I got my heart back. Of course I got my heart back. What what the heartless take it? Why am I referencing Kingdom Hearts so much? Hey, aren't you the fairy buddy I met a long time ago? Wow, you grew, dude. Well, here's your song. What? No, I never forget. You you're the you're the one who forgot, aren't you? If you have an ocarina, play that song, baby. Alright, let's see if I got this right. There we go. Now we got the now we got the scarecrow song ready. Now you definitely want to do that, even though it may may not seem like much. Why? Well, now now that that guy knows this, now that he knows the scarecrow song again, or has been reminded, even though he says he never forgets, like an elephant. Well, now now the other scarecrow Pierre will be a big help to you. Now well, just a couple more rupees to, until I get enough. Well, it's enough that I need to attempt that thing. Not quite. Now, I'm sure you recall here the, the magic bean we planted. Well, seven years have gone by, now it's a full grown plant. And I think there's something coming. That was a Gwei, I believe. I think I might have covered those before, but then again, maybe not. Anyways, you probably just saw it there. Nobby turned green way up there. That means you can play the Scarecrow song to make Pierre appear. There he is. And since we got the hook shot, we can just we can just use him and hook shot up there. Unfortunately, the hook shot has limited range, so I want to demonstrate this one time. Come on. There we go. Stupid bird. Speed Joel was right, the birds are evil. I'm all the way up here on top of the ladder. Please, no guays. Another heart piece! That makes three. One more, we get another whole heart. Good. Now, alternati alternatively, you could have just used this magic beam plant to float up. To go all the way up there. And alternatively, go back to the fishing pond, which is still operation, which you can still go and go and collect some fish. And try to get that last heart piece. Or you could just you or you could just call Pierre. So many opportunities. So little time. Speaking of time, it's night time again. And for once, I actually want it to be nighttime because there are a couple of gold scatulas here I want to check. I want to collect. Now I'm sure there's some I missed in the past, but right now I'm afraid I can't go back to the past. It is possible to, but not at the moment. Okay, did I already get that one? I guess maybe I did. Okay, so never mind. I don't have to go back. Because I don't have to come back here. I just wasted time as usual. At least I'm getting a few more rupees out of this deal. Not quite enough. Five more. One more blue rupee will do the trick. I'll just exit and come back and slash those bushes till I got 770. Till that time, I'll see you guys back at Lon Lon Ranch. Okay, I said I'll be back at Lon Lon Ranch, but there actually is something something I can do to get to Lon Lon Ranch quickly. Because it's quite a long ways away. It's called the Save Warp. You save, then reset, then go back into your save file, and your, your, as adult Link, you go back to the Temple of Time. 
Simple enough, isn't it? And here we are back at Lon Lon Ranch. A few things have changed here as well. For starters, M -m Malin and Talon aren't around. Well, Malin is, but not Talon. We'll get to her later. In the meantime, talk to this, uh, Mario wannabe. There's some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but... Don't be ridiculous! That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen. The great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. The great Ganondorf, you mean? Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Want to hear how to ride? I'm a little rusty, but I think I can get it. Hey, you got one minute to spend here. As you can see, this here is Epona. You remember her. Now, uh-oh. I forgot the song. How stupid of me. And went right past it. Fun song. Okay, that's it. Play Epona's song if you've learned it in the past, and Epona will come to you. Well, that's the only way she'll react. Any other time? Come on. Now take this time to get used to Epona. Now these carrots here. Press the A button, you'll go faster. However, use the carrot. After a while, the carrot will regenerate. As you can see with Epona, you can jump fences this way as long as you're fast enough. Now, Epona feels kinda stiff to me. Control isn't all that great. Not to me, at least. Now, you can stay here until time runs out, or you can just talk to Ingo and stop. There we go, see? She jumped that baby. Unfortunately, you can't jump her out. Hey, time's up, young man! You only paid 10 rupees. You played around long enough. Okay, Mr. Ugly Face. So speak to Ingo again. And pay the 10 rupees again. And you're gonna have to go fetch Epona again, which means once again, play Epona's song, not, not for her to come to you. Apparently she can't recognize faces. She can only recognize, um, music. Which, in a way, is understandable, but at the same time, not so much. Now this time we're going to want to go talk to Ingo, while we're riding Epona. Whoa, girl, whoa, whoa, back it up. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager, say 50 rupees? That's pretty much why I wanted 170. Trust me, you want to do this. I am not a big fan of this, to be honest. So give me a minute while I try to concentrate. Try and stay inside, I think. All here, come on! Yeah, good. But that was just a warm up. Oh, yeah, you look pretty bad there, buddy boy. If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey you! How about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Oh yeah, that's the bit. That's the big prize. But now he's a little bit tougher. Every time you try to pass him, he'll cut you off. Trust me, he is not going to be nice here.
I'm gonna wait till he goes outside. No, 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 no! Ah, damn it! I missed. He won and he got my 50 rupees. Yeah, you, yeah, you stay smug. So we're gonna have to try that again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut out till eventually I run out of rupees, or if I somehow win by a miracle. So see you guys momentarily. Second try, baby! Second try! <laughs> What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost! Shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give you the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. A fine kettle of fish, isn't it? Now, something kind of funny. If you attack the Kukos enough times, eventually they will attack you. And you can't do a thing about it. It's kind of funny, really. See, here it goes. But, here's the, here's the funny part. Besides being frozen. As long as we're on Epona, we can't get hurt. We are invincible with her. Can you believe that? So you can take this time to practice if you like. But there's really no way for us to escape. <laughs> Why you know we're leading a chicken parade? <laughs> wow. Now I'm gonna be honest guys, that was the first time I actually got this is the first time I actually got Epona outside of the race. But then again, this is this is only the second time I've been to this area, so So what we need to do? Build up speed and jump the fence! Alright, nice view. So now we got Epona for good. As long as we play Epona's song, we can use her anytime on Hyrule Field. And any other place where our time passes normally. So really, Epona is the fastest way to go. Best way to go around here, that is. I don't know how long the effects of the carrots last, but if you use up all six of them, they will take a little time to recharge, so... Don't go spamming them so much. Use them kind of sparingly, huh? Yeah, alright, girl, alright. We'll go this way. Now there is a weapon we're going to get later that that we can use while riding Epona, but unfortunately at the moment we can't use any other items, which kind of stinks. So the next place we need to go to is back is back to um, well you know back to well Kokiri Forest because now that we got the hookshot and and Epona, though we technically didn't, though I've no though I noticed that we actually don't need Epona to beat the game. I'm serious, we actually don't need her. Though, she is a fine horse. And with our fine horse, that is going to be it for today, everybody. And boy, am I glad I got her. I'm surprised I actually did that. So, next time on Ocarina of Time, we're going to enter Kokiri Forest and see what's been happening with it after seven years. So, until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave.